In this video, what I would like to do is perform another example of a statics 2D equilibrium problem. And the example I'm going to do is another typical type of question you may see when you're dealing with 2D equilibrium. In this particular problem, we're asked to figure out the maximum weight of W if the all the ropes in this problem have a maximum force that they can withstand. In this case, it's going to be 100 pounds. So that means if any of the forces in the ropes are over 100 pounds, then the rope would break. We're going to approach this problem just like we've approached any 2D, uh, any equilibrium problem. First, we are going to draw a free body diagram. Then we are going to apply the equations of equilibrium solve the equations of equilibrium and we should for what we're looking for. So let's draw the free body diagram. When I look at this problem, first, what do I see? I see two different ropes, this green rope and this orange rope. I see a weight attached to the green rope and point C and point D are pinned. So there's really two places that are interesting to me for drawing free body di diagrams, the first place would be this weight W and the second place would be this pulley B. And I'd actually want to start with this pulley B because it looks like it has all of the different ropes connected to it. So let's start with B. And on B, what's important to realize is there's three different forces that B sees which are the rope forces, but there's only two different ropes. So one force it sees is this rope force that goes down like this. This rope we'll call tension AB. And we know the direction it points because it's a rope, it's in tension, it points away from B along the, the cable. The other, the other force that we have from that same cable is is this part now it might be tempting to call that the tension of bc but you need to realize that this and this are the same ropes so when you cut one rope it has the same tension so this also needs to be the tension a b now this orange rope is a different rope so it has a different tension and we can call this tension BD. What angles are here? So uh, for angles, what we have, we have some angle right here and let me dot this. And we have some angle right here. And again, let me dot this. These angles are, well, this right here is theta. We're trying to solve for that. This angle right here uh, from geometry, we know that it's gonna be the same angle uh, that was given in the problem. So it's gonna be 60 degrees. Uh, to prove it really quickly, these are two parallel lines. And then I have a bisecting line in between. This angle right in here is 60 degrees. That means this angle right here is also 60 degrees from the geometry of these, these lines. So this is going to be 60 degrees. Now I had said that we could look at a free body diagram of point A, what the weight is. Um, we could do that, but we could also realize that this is a weight with one rope. So this one rope right here, if we had looked at the free body diagram would have also been my attention AB. So I would have been able to figure out, okay, this is my weight by summing my forces in the Y direction that my weight, the, 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 the force, the tension force in TAB is going to be equal to my weight. So I think that would be a good thing to write down um, that this right here is equal to my weight. If you don't follow right now, take this free body diagram with a weight, with a TAB, sum the forces in the Y direction 
equal to zero and you'll get TAB is equal to W. So I, I think it would be good to have this in terms of W since that's what we're trying to uh, figure out. So now that we've drawn these free body diagrams, let's go and apply the equations of equilibrium. When I look at my equations of equilibrium, I'm gonna have the forces in the X are equal to zero. I'm gonna call anything that's pointing towards the right positive, anything that's pointing towards the left will be negative. And let's just start looking at these forces. So I have this force TBD. This force TBD, if I break it up, I need to, I need to move to the left for the X component. So the left is a negative, right? It points in the opposite direction of the right. So I'm going to have minus T B D times the cosine of theta. And if you, again, if you don't see that this is the cosine of theta, write Sakatoa. And notice that this angle right in here, this is the adjacent side. With the adjacent, I'm on cosine. Okay, so I have minus TBD times the cosine of theta. Uh, this is completely, hor uh, completely vertical, so it doesn't have a X component, but this TAB right here has an X component. When I look at this, I have to go towards the right. So that is going to be a positive force. It's pointing to the right. It's pointing in the same direction. So I'm going to have plus T, and let me keep it in the same color, plus T A B times the cosine of 60 is equal to zero. The other equation we're going to use is the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. Anything that's up, I'm gonna call positive. So this TBD, okay, when I, when I resolve this along X and Y, the Y component is pointing upwards. So it's going to be positive. So T B D times the sine of theta is, uh, now we uh, need these other two um, forces and we're gonna keep, keep them in terms of W. So this one is pointing straight down, so it's gonna be minus W. This one is pointing down So it's also gonna be a minus W, but we only want to take the, the Y component. So that would be minus W times the sine of 60, and that's equal to zero. So now that we've applied the equations of equilibrium to our free body diagram, now we're gonna go through and try to actually solve this problem. When I solve this problem, Let's, let's take a look at this. One issue we have is, okay, I have one unknown, two unknowns, three unknowns. One unknowns, oh, well, I can solve one of those issues right now. I can take this TAB and actually just make it W, but I think we're still gonna have three unknowns. So I have one unknown, two unknowns, three unknowns. One unknown, two unknown, three unknowns. So we still have three unknowns and two equations. This is when we use the maximum force in the cable is 100 pounds. There's two cables we have. One cable would be this uh, TAB or my weight. The other cable that we still have in our equation is this TBD. So I'm gonna set TBD equal to 100. So set TBD equal to 100 pounds. So now I'm gonna have minus 100 times the cosine of theta plus W times the cosine of theta is equal to zero, or cosine of 60 is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna have 100 times the sine of theta minus W minus W times the sine of 60 is equal to zero. I can actually combine these two W's, right? They're just a coefficient of W. So I'm gonna have my coefficients. So um, 
a minus 1 minus uh, sine of 60. So minus 1.866. So 1, 100. Sine of theta minus 1.866w is equal to 0. Now I just have two equations in terms of theta and w. Sometimes when you're trying to solve for theta, things get a little tricky with uh, trigonometric properties, but uh, so I, I would try to, I would think to try to solve for uh, w instead of uh, a theta. So if I solve this for w, I'll have w is equal to 100 cosine of theta divided by the cosine of 60. And I'm going to put it into this equation right here. So I'm going to have, I'm going to move this to the other side of the equation. So I'll have 100 times the sine of theta is equal to 1.866 w. 100 times the sine of theta is equal to 1.866 times 100 times the cosine of theta divided by the cosine of 60. Well, I can actually evaluate this. I can say this is 1.866 divided by the cosine of 60. So I can get a number for that, 3.72. So 100 times the sine of theta is equal to 3.72 times 100 times the cosine of theta. And yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna turn out nice. I'm gonna divide this 100 times the cosine of theta over. So right now I'm gonna get the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta, 100. These 100s are gonna cancel out and this is gonna turn into a tangent. So we'll have the tangent of theta. We'll have the tangent of theta is equal to 3.72. So the inverse tangent of 3.72 theta is equal to my inverse tangent of 3.72. And theta is going to be equal to Seventy five degrees. We'll call it seventy five degrees. Seventy five degrees. So now I can solve for what this W is. I can solve for W. W is equal to one hundred times the cosine of seventy five right here. Uh, divided by the cosine of sixty. So let's put that in the calculator. One hundred cosine of seventy five divided by the cosine of sixty. And this gives me fifty one point seven pounds. So W is equal to fifty one point seven pounds. And now we do need to check. We do need to check if this answer right here is okay. So if we go and look at this, what this is saying is W is the tension in this, uh, that rope right there. So we need to make sure that this 51.7 pounds is less than 100 pounds. It is, so we are okay. So this would be the answer uh, and 
we can just see right away that if we had set the other string to 100 pounds, if we had said this would be equal to 100 pounds, this would immediately have made this TBD over 100 pounds uh, because this weight is this uh, tension TAB. Uh, so if both of these ropes can, with, can hold 100 pounds, the maximum weight that this can be is 51.7 pounds. And that's the absolute maximum. If it's any heavier, this rope right up here will snap. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you out with another type of problem you can see or expect to see with 2D equilibrium and statics. If this was helpful, please consider subscribing, hitting the subscribe button, or if you're interested in looking at more videos that involve statics, check out the statics playlist uh, and look at another statics video. Thanks.